The drop shadow effect is found under the perspective category, and if I apply it to my layer, I'm gonna get an instant drop shadow. So let's take a look at the controls. Obviously we can change the color to whatever we want, so if we wanted something a little bit more realistic, we could choose maybe the background color and then make it just a little bit darker. And if I increase this distance value, we can see that drop shadow a little bit more clearly. We have the ability to increase or decrease the opacity to make it more or less noticeable, as well as change the direction that it's being offset from the original layer. Right here we can adjust the softness so that it's not such a hard crisp edge and it looks a little bit more like a real shadow. And we can also isolate just the shadow. So if we wanted to say add a bunch of effects on top of this without affecting our original logo, then I could just duplicate it, delete the shadow off of that layer and now I have an isolated shadow beneath it. Now on its own, this shadow doesn't look all that great, but we can make it look just a little bit more realistic if we just make a few duplicates of this shadow. So I'm gonna pull the opacity back on this, maybe turn the softness down a little bit, as well as the distance. So it's just coming off the edge there. And then I'll duplicate the effect. On this instance, I'm gonna make it a little bit softer, a little bit further out, and even a little bit more opaque. I'll duplicate it one more time, push it down on the distance, increase the softness quite a bit more, and then play with that opacity. Now I have a more realistic fall off of my shadows and I could do this a number of times and play with all of these individual controls however I want. But let's say I wanted to change the angle of all of them at once without having to individually adjust each one of these. Well, if I press E to bring up my effects in the layer, then I'll open up the first instance of drop shadow, click on that direction property and come up to edit, copy with property links or control alt C. Click that, and now that value is stored with an expression, so if I go into the other two instances and paste it, it's going to link it up with expressions, and now I can adjust one of these values and the other ones will update along with it. But that's all you need to know about the drop shadow effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel, and if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all of that stuff in the description of this video.